Hi, I'm Laura Dorsey and I'm with Infinite Scholars. Infinite Scholars does one thing and we do one thing well, we help send deserve, deserving students to college. We do this by facilitating scholarship fairs in 27 cities across the country. When we do this, we have a unique group of partners that travel with us on a regular basis. And one of those partners is Bethune-Cookman University. So I asked Bethune-Cookman University to come on today to give you a little bit of more information about them. But before they do, let me give you some background about Bethune-Cookman. Bethune-Cookman University is located in Daytona Beach, Florida, less than two miles from the sparkling waters of the Atlantic Ocean. They are less than 40 minutes away from Disney World and SeaWorld. BCU is a four-year private, historically Black university affiliated with the United Methodist Church. Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune founded what is now Bethune-Cookman University in 1904. The mission of Bethune-Cookman University is to educate a diverse community of learners to become responsible, productive citizens, and solution seekers through the promotion of faith, scholarship, creative endeavors, leadership, and service. The university has more than 45 degree programs in arts and science, business, nursing, health science, education, music, and are now the only HBCU with its own record label, BCU Records. The tuition rate at BCU is $24,690 a year, which includes room and board as well. They offer scholarships in academics, athletics, division, NCAA, music, dance, and NJROTC. They represent 39 different countries, the student body of BCU. Today's session is being conducted by my friend, Billy DeJuice, a graduate of BCU, and he currently serves as the Director of Admissions at the Great Bethune Cookman University. Billy? Well, 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 happy Monday. Happy, uh, it's a new day at Bethune Cookman University. Thank you, my good friend, uh, Laura here. It's a pleasure to be here with you again. Uh, I bring you all greetings from Bethune Cookman University, the entire family of BCU. Uh, most importantly, from our seventh president, Dr. E. LeBrent Kreit, our board of trustees, our cabinet members, our faculty, our staff, and of course, our phenomenal students here at Bethune Cookman. So, again, Bethune Cookman, again, is uh, located in Daytona, as you heard from Noah. We're going to give you some guys some information about our school. But before we get going, I wanted to share some, a quick little promo video from our student life activities area to kind of wake everybody up and get you going because we're going to start giving you some information. Great information about the application process, scholarship information, and you'll know the best way to follow up with us once you decide you want to proceed um, with the next steps of a higher education. All right, give me 30 seconds. We'll show you a quick video before we get going. Je dans le tux. Ah ouais. Ah ouais. Ah ouais. T'es venu en boîte avec des meufs, on t'a recalé. Oh là là. Ni en tactile, ni en télé, zéro smiley, non, non, non. J'suis pas des leurs, j'suis pas des leurs, Robert Marley, Bobby, Bobby. Comme un ever, comme un ever, comme un jamais, j'suis dans le texte. J'suis dans, j'suis dans le texte. So again, thank you guys for taking a brief moment to check out a little promo video, just kind of get everybody uh, you know, awake, getting ready to share some great information with you about the opportunities we do have here um, in Wildcat country. First off, we're gonna start off with our admissions page. This is a wonderful page that we have here for Bethune Cookman. As you guys can see, you have multiple sections in these areas where you, based on what you're looking for, you would have access to what you need there. All right, we're first are gonna start with our academic programs that we have at Bethune Cookman. As you see these sharp students dressed up in their shirt and ties and their business attire, that is a requirement for all students, by the way. Every Wednesday, you must dress up to come to class. Fellas, you have to wear your shirt and ties. Ladies, you have to put on your business attire, look sharp as you get prepared for life after college. So again, uh, I love to see our young people dressed up professionally uh, as they get ready to attack this 
this journey. All right, here we have a list of all of our academic programs listed here for you in alphabetical order, starting with accounting all the way down to social science and sociology. All right, what's pretty cool about these programs, once you click on that particular link for the program you're looking for, it gives you some description about what that program offers, more detailed information. More importantly, you got the curriculum, the whole playbook for what you're getting into from your first semester classes as a freshman to your second semester, on to your sophomore year, your junior year, and your senior year. All right, so each program that you're looking for you can kind of get an idea of what that program offers. What courses am I going to have to take? Sit down with your parents and discuss that to make sure this plane makes sense for you based on your expectations. All right. We're going to be very transparent with that process to make sure you know exactly what you're paying for. And the product is a, you know, it's a pretty sound product. So we know exactly what we're offering. So you can kind of weigh it, weigh your options and see what best works and what program best works with your plans of interest. So very cool. The newest program as uh, Ms. Laura mentioned here is our music recording technology, where we do have that major in the bachelor's program now, um, where it, it gives you the curriculum as well for those courses. And you can record, produce, and write your own music. Now at Bethune Cookman, we built our own studio on campus to do so. So no need to go off campus to go pay for studio time. That is a, a affordable, so it's not right on campus for you. It's part of your tuition package, and you have access to use that when you are ready. So great news for our students. Take advantage of that. You don't have to be a music major to take part of that program, all right? So if you, if you love to sing, you'd like to write your own music, please reach out. We'll be more than happy to assist you with how that works, all right? So now we're going to go to the admissions, some of the requirements that we look for, all right, this year we're making some uh, adjustments and we're trying to find ways to accommodate ways to accommodate our students as we do have some uh, hurdles, especially from students from the West Coast who are having trouble with the test, SAT and ACT. So this year, Bethune-Cookman is now test optional for the acceptance process, all right? So these are the minimums you need, 2.5 or higher, to be admitted to the regular acceptance process, all right? Typically, we would need a 15 ACT, or an 810 SAT as well, all right? So if you have not taken the test and you have applied and we have your transcripts, we're not gonna hold for your test scores. We're gonna offer you the acceptance of the decision once we have that application in those transcripts. If you fall within a 2.0 and a 2.499, what we've done is we've created a nice summer immersion slash summer bridge program for those students who may need some additional assistance, whether it be in mathematics and reading and writing. And what we do is we have offer a six weeks course over the summer where we focus into those areas of need, the areas of weakness, and get you prepared for that fall semester once you start with the remaining of your class, a freshman class. So again, this is a good way to kind of transition into Bethune Cookman. You struggle a little bit during a certain semester, a certain year. This is our way of getting that. You can make that up and uh, sharpen those skills prior to you getting started in August. All right, and you must maintain a 2.7 throughout that summer session in order to then be admitted for the fall semester. All right, pretty high success rate for that program. <clears throat> Once these students get on campus for the summer, uh, you have a lot less distractions taking place because we don't have the large student body here on campus. So you better focus on those areas for six weeks, kind of hone it and get in there and take care of business. You can get going with a fresh start once you get here in August, all right? We're gonna be looking for four units of English by the time you graduate, three units in uh, mathematics, sciences and social sciences. Six electives for the academic for the elective section. Now keep in mind guys, we do not require the two semesters of a foreign language at Bethune Cookman. All right, if you've already taken those foreign languages in high school, awesome. If you did not, this will not hinder you from being admitted or being considered for any scholarship consideration. All right, so keep that in mind. That is a requirement for most public schools, but we don't require that here at Bethune Cookman because you will be taking this foreign language courses with us once you arrive here in Daytona Beach, uh, you'll take the college level, French one, French two, Spanish one, Spanish two, or even better, you have the option of doing our study abroad program, which is another six week summer program, which we are able to go to Europe, for example, and spend six weeks in France and study French. That experience itself within that six weeks period will take advantage or will take place of those two semester classes. So you have the option once you get here with them. You can sit here and take French one, French two, or you can study abroad in the summer 
and those requirements will be met with that travel abroad experience. And you're gonna have those credits that will transfer back from Europe onto your transcripts here at Bethune-Cookman, which looks very attractive when you're applying for graduate school or if you're applying for a job, it makes you more marketable to have had that experience while you're in college. You wanna make yourself stand apart from those competitions. So again, a, a good piece to take advantage of here while you're at Bethune-Cookman. All right, to continue, let's look for some money. Before we talk about scholarships, if you guys ever need help with the financial aid process, if you click on this financial aid link here and you say, I'm gonna apply for a financial aid, I need some help. What we've done, we've created a playbook for you as well. Step one through step 13, it walks you through the entire process of what you have to do. Apply for FAFSA, create your FAFSA ID, complete that federal application, uh, application for FAFSA. You know, select a data retrieval form, complete verification, et cetera. Everything is listed in here for you. So if you and your parents need some help with that FAFSA application, simply go on this page. It's pretty descriptive, user-friendly. You can kind of walk through that and figure out what you need and get your questions answered there. All right, very important. That portal opened up on October 1st for all seniors. So if you have not done the FAFSA, get on the ball, add Bethune Cookman to the list of schools. The BCU school code for FAFSA is 001467. All right, I'm gonna repeat that again. If you are adding BCU to your FAFSA list, the BCU code for Bethune Cookman is 001467. All right, it takes about five to seven business days for that process, for the application to be processed through the FAFSA office, the federal government's office. And then we at Bethune Cookman will receive that update from FAFSA and we'll communicate that to you through your R Wildcat web account where you can view your award package to see how much award you've gotten and what is the difference after we applied all grants and scholarships. If there is a balance, then we'll talk to you about those leftover balances to provide some options on how to go forward from there. All right, very important. You have the contact email here for financial aid, financial aid at cookman.edu, and you have those office hours available to you as well, if need be. All right. So now let's talk about how to get some of these scholarships. Now, you notice I mentioned that Bethune Cookman was test optional for acceptance. Yes, but we are not test optional for scholarships. All right, starting with the low level here, Wildcat level grant, we require a 3.0 grade point average or higher, along with a 19, I mean a 940 SAT or an 18 composite on the ACT. Those minimums will qualify you for the $4,000 Wildcat grant. All right, it's offered yearly for three years. 2000 in the fall, 2000 in the spring semester. The priority deadline again is December 1st. All right, what we've done for those who have not taken the test, we have extended some of those deadlines to the spring semester for those who have not taken that test to give you more time to sign up and take the test. So you can be admitted by the before December 1st. Once we receive your test scores in January, February, March, we will add that test score to your profile and you will still be evaluated for those scholarships. All right, so it's not the end of the game. Just continue to sign up and look for look on College Board, look on the ACT webpage to find out when those next test dates will be offered so you can make sure you register so you can make sure you take advantage of all these opportunities, all right? Now, these scholarships, they, re they require that you do live on campus. You must be a resident of campus. You can't be an online student and take advantage of these academic scholarships, all right? 4,000 a year for this one, you must maintain a minimum of 2.7 while you're in college to get this renewable deal. As you guys can see here, total value is 12,000. So 4,000 times the three years will give you the total of 12,000 for those three years. And again, maintain that 2.7 and you'll be good to go from there. All right, next level up is our Excelsior two level, slightly higher with the grade point average and test scores, 3.25, 1020 SAT or 20 composite ACT. This will double the amount, the grant from 4,000 to 8,000. So now you would get 8,000 per year. Again, 4,000 in the fall, 4,000 in the spring semester. Must be a resident on campus. Total value 24,000 for those three years. All right, and again, you must maintain a 3.0 or higher for this particular scholarship for, so you can get that renewable deal for those three years. All right, you just do your part and we'll have no problem supporting that. Thirdly, we have our Excelsior One level. This is the full tuition scholarship offer. Requirements of a 3.5 GPA or higher, along with an 1130 SAT or 23 on the ACT composite. 
All right. Total value of tuition at Bethune Cookman without room and board is fourteen thousand seven hundred and ninety-four dollars. So that is the amount you'll be receiving yearly from Bethune Cookman. It breaks down into seventy-three ninety-seven in the fall, seventy-three ninety-seven in the spring. You must be a resident on campus, and you have to maintain a three point three for this one in college, in order to get this 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 three year deal, which totals up to forty four thousand three hundred and eighty two dollars. All right, so you just do your part, get the three point three, you get this your freshman, sophomore, and junior year. Then we have our presidential scholarship, which is the big guy, but we like to call him three point seven five grade point average or higher with a 1240 SAT score or a 26 minimum ACT. That gets you the total $24,690 per year for your scholarship, which breaks up into breaks down into 12,345 for the fall, 12,345 for the spring. All right, so 24,690 is the total cost to attend Bethune Cookman with your tuition, your room, your meals, transportation, Tickets to every home game on campus. Uh, 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 if you need medicine for your health, you have a cold, the flu, you need some medicine. No need to go to Walmart or Walgreens or buy medicine. You can get that free of charge here in our infirmary office. This is part of your tuition package that you've already paid for. So take advantage of that. And this is also not just a two, three year deal. This is a four year deal. So this is for all four years that you're here in college. You'll get this 24,690, which if you add it up, you'll get $98,760 for those four years, all right? Most important, more importantly, you will get $1,000 for your books per year. So that's an additional 4,000 that you can add to this 98. So total value is $102,760, all right? $102,760 total for those four years for the presidential offer. Again, this one in particular, I would say apply early. You want to definitely meet that December 1st deadline or the holiday deadline for sure for this scholarship. Because these, of course, will be the ones that, uh, you know, we will have a lot of interest in, um, especially now with these challenges. Students are looking for ways to not have to come out of pocket for any expenses, which is understandable. And it's the smart thing to do. So if you've done your job, you've worked hard those four years, by all means, we urge you to get on the ball so you can earn uh, uh, you know, earn those scholarships and have those options. Anyone within this range will have options. So we want to make sure you have those options as you move forward. And uh, you do not have to apply for any of these scholarships. All right, keep that in mind. Once you've applied to Bethune Cookman, we have your transcripts and test scores. We automatically evaluate you for a scholarship. So if you fall within this range, you will automatically receive that offer. This particular group, for example, you get that offer during the holidays for Christmas. You get a nice Christmas letter, a nice Christmas email from Bethune Cookman, you know, stating happy holidays, Merry Christmas from Bethune Cookman. You have been selected for our presidential scholarship offer. And the, the goal and the idea behind that is to get you, give you a chance to be celebrated by your parents and family during the holidays. You know, I always joke with my students, this will be a great opportunity to bargain with your parents to get some additional Christmas presents. Hey mom, I just got a full scholarship offer hey, I think I deserve maybe one or two more Christmas presents. So it's a nice bargaining chip for you, for you guys to kind of talk to mom and dad and say, hey, look what I've done, uh, you know, so you can be celebrated during the holidays. So again, finding ways to celebrate these small achievements, especially this year, we don't know what's going to happen in the spring. We don't know if we'll be able to celebrate you during your, your signing days, your, your grad nights, your prom. These are all graduations. We don't know what's going to happen in the spring so let's not take these months for granted. Let's try and celebrate every achievement as we move forward, uh, you know, because we don't know what the spring semester is going to bring us. So doing these things is a way to kind of honor those students who've done their part, and we want to make sure you guys are good to go. All right, that's the academic uh, scholarship. Also, by the way, since we do have a nice agreement here with students in the California area, for those on the West Coast, we do have a transfer scholarship for you as well if you're transferring in. All right, you provided the requirements here, 2.5 or higher. All right, it's a total of 4,000. 4,000 is the maximum that you can get as a transfer student. All right, because these students are not required to reside on campus. They're only required to cover the tuition costs. All right, so they have some options as well as they move forward. In addition to academic scholarships, guys, we have athletic scholarships. We are a Division I NCAA. 
These are the sports that we offer, men's sports and basketball, basketball, baseball, cross country, football, golf, tennis, indoor and outdoor track and field. For women, we have basketball, bowling, cross country, golf, softball, tennis, track and field, indoor and outdoor, and volleyball. Any sport that you guys are looking for, let's say you're looking at women's volleyball, you said, man, I want to figure out what do I need to do to join this team or to try out. They have highlights, all this, these videos for you. you can check out on your spare time. If you look, you want to see the, the, the coaching staff, you have the head coach's phone number there, Brittany Williams, phone number, email, then Twitter information. If you want to see the roster and see, let me check out these players. How tall are they? Oh, man, six feet. I see six one. These are some pretty tall, you know, these girls are handling business. So you can see the staff, the entire roster. And uh, we've done a phenomenal job in athletics the last few years here representing Bethune-Cookman. If you're looking at men's sports, that's, that's trying to get one of the men's represented too. You can, you always will, you will always find the, the, the coaching staff, the, the, uh, the roster of our players, you know, and check out the coach's phone number if you need it. If you need to send in any highlight performances or highlight reels of your games in high school, this is a good way to kind of get their attention to say, hey, look at me, look at me. I'm interested. How do I follow up with you? Uh, so it's a good way to get the tap in. You have a men's golf team here. You got the roster. You've got some of the, you got the head coach's information. So again, tap in guys, because keep in mind, if the coaches don't know who you are, this is a good way to, to let them know who you are and what you can do to get their attention because division one athletics is very competitive and you have to get their attention somehow to get the opportunity for a tryout because they have guys that are, you know, reaching out daily, hundreds of them. So you have to stand out to get their attention. All right. So we've gone over our requirements. We've gone over our uh, academic scholarships, athletic scholarship. We also offer music scholarship. If you're a vocalist, if you love to sing concert chorale, great program. I was part of that program when I was as a student. It's a great way if you love music to get involved, especially now with the studio being there for you on campus. These guys travel all over the country, all over the world to perform. So if you love to perform, great way to tap in and get that experience. We also have our, our marching band, the best band in the land, the Marching Wildcats. So we represent well throughout the country. Uh, if you haven't checked out the piece, go to Netflix and type in Bethune-Cookman University Marching Band. You can check out that video to kind of get a feel for what it's like to be a band member here at Bethune-Cookman. We have an orchestra, a jazz combo. I mean, whatever you, whatever you need in music, we have it here. So tap into those resources here and type in if you need some help. I'm gonna provide you with my email uh, address here in the chat section shortly. So if you guys have any questions, you can reach out to me directly and I'll be able to be able to make that connection for you and put you in touch with the code, the right coach, the, the band director, the dance coordinator, um, our military representative, uh, Earl Fillmore. We have NJRTC for Air Force. If you're looking to get into those areas, we can make that connection for you and put you in touch with the right individual and they can follow up with you to let you know what they're looking for and the best way to follow up on that. All right. Student Life is also here. You can check out Student Life. We have Greek uh, Divine Nine represented on campus. Uh, student leaders right now, we just not too long ago had the uh, freshman class elections and also for new student leaders on campus. We have a new Miss Bethune Cookman, new Mr. Bethune Cookman, new Mr. Senior, Miss Senior, Sophomore, Miss Freshman, Mr. Freshman, Freshman Class President. So we have new leaders on our campus and they're doing an outstanding job of representing their class. And again, you as an incoming senior, freshman next year, if you're a senior and you aspire to be a student leader when you get on campus, start thinking about that now. You know, If you wanna run for Freshman Class President, what does that campaign look like? You have to run your own campaign students will come out and vote for you based on that presentation. So prepare for some of these things now so you can, uh, it's not, you know, we're gonna be too nervous, you know, by the time you get here on campus. All right, this is a student-led campus. Everything we do here, our students has a say in that. So everything we do in, in choir uh, requires our students to be involved because as our president refers to them, they are the North Stars of our campus. They're the reason why we're here. You know, we're here to assist in every way possible. So check out these links whatever you're looking for based on different activities. We have over 50 social clubs on campus. You know, Divine Nine, the Greek Life activities are here. And uh, so get involved while you're here so you can stay in the loop, stay around those positive students who are doing well. Um, so you can uh, have like-minded like people hang around. So 
if you stay around the positive folks who have good grades, who are involved, also having a great time, then college will be fun and easy. But if you get around the wrong crowd, folks who are just hanging out, not doing too much, not going to class, procrastinating, not managing their time, then you know that formula doesn't usually work. So something to keep in mind for sure. I'm sure you've heard those stories before. So make sure you take that as seriously because the goal for every freshman, we would love to see you guys achieve a 3.5 grade point average or higher once you get here at Bethlehem Cookman. Once everyone gets here, everyone is at 0, 0.0. It's a fresh start. So get off to a great start. We have 24 hour tutoring sessions available. 24 hour online tutoring if you need it. So if you're two in the morning, if you need some help, someone's there to help you. So again, we leave no stones unturned for you. We provide you with those resources. Now it's up to you to take advantage of that and sign up and say you need help and go out and look for that help. And it's our job and our goal to help you with that process. All right, so keep that in mind as you guys go to enroll here or any other school, look for those resources that will make sure you are successful in your journey at that institution. All right, so what I'll do right now, I know we've been talking for a few minutes, I'm gonna show you guys another quick little video and then we'll continue with some additional information um, as we move forward here. I love these uh, these interactions. I love the, the fact that we can interact with so many students from all over the country, all over the world in doing this uh, virtual pieces are very, very, very interesting. So I enjoy it myself. I don't have a problem with that. And uh, another piece I wanna make sure I share with you guys, if you are a freshman, sophomore, junior, I wanna make sure you guys are aware of this as well. We have a wonderful opportunity which allows some of our underclassmen to get involved in some of these processes. All right, so I'm gonna share some information. I'm gonna type it in the chat section here for you. One area I want you to kind of tap into is the Raise Me platform. Raiseme.com is the web link. Check that out, follow Bethune Cookman on that page. We'll probably be only HBCU on that list. This is a great way for freshmen, sophomores, and juniors to earn micro scholarship dollars as early as a freshman, all right? Just for doing simple things such as getting an A in a class, getting a B in a class, taking honors classes, IB courses, AP courses, things that you guys are already doing. We're now paying you for doing that. You can start earning money as a freshman, build your account up sophomore year, junior year. You can earn between 30 and $40,000 in that process if you do all these, take all these steps. So great way again, to earn dollars as you guys are going through your, your, your process for your for your high school years. Because I know many times some of our freshmen and sophomores in high schools feel left, left out of the ball game. You know, when college come and visit, they only wanna to speak to seniors or maybe some juniors, but very seldom they'll talk to freshmen and sophomores because they feel like they're not ready. This is a good way for you guys to tap into that system and tap into those resources. And uh, we will communicate with you guys as you guys follow us and uh, put, make sure we guide you, put you in the right direction uh, to achieve your dream. So again, raiseme.com, it's a great platform to kind of follow and there, there, there's a list of schools in there. So follow as many schools as you'd like and weigh those choices and those options as you guys move forward. All right, pretty cool. Anything else, let me make sure I cover all bases here that I needed for you guys. Uh, we will be sharing one quick last video with you here. And then we will see if we can provide some additional email contacts for different departments as you guys navigate through this year. We're very excited about this process. So I'm glad that you guys uh, joined this page to get some information. We want to thank Infinite Scholars and their staff for their continued support through this process, being creative and uh, being innovative through this, through this uh during this pandemic to find ways to accommodate our students because at the end of the day, that's what we're all here for and we're excited to be a part of it. All right, so I'm gonna share a quick video with you guys, give you some information. It's a, it's a new day at BCU. We're in the new leadership, new president, new vice presidents all throughout campus. So within with that spirit, I wanted to make sure we follow suit. So be right with you shortly after this quick video. It's a new day of Bethune-Cookman University's changing landscape of bold leadership in business, education, research, and STEM, creating innovative ways for new Wildcats to change the world. 
Get ready. The tide is rising. It's time for you to catch the next wave in higher education at Bethune-Cookman University. Every generation has a story. Ours began in 1921 as the rhythm of a woman's dream of her growing school. Young men and women marching together to the beat of hearts and drums. A revival had begun. Because of faith, the woman's dream grew and grew with young people from every state and beyond, still marching, still playing. 90 years later, from a small band room to a program with producers, studios, great leadership, and over 300 full-time students marching in step with precision, tradition, and pride. There is no doubt the undefeated, undisputed, heavyweight champions of all college bands. I've been the dreamer, but oh, how wonderfully you have interpreted my dream. chapters yet to be written but to make history you must respect history so we taught them to honor those whose path were blazed before them and when it was time to fight we gave them the faith and heart of a champion to do the impossible generation of BC begins with you. Great. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, a couple of videos just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on with our wonderful marching band, our athletic programs. Again, these are just some highlights of what we've done in the past few years just to kind of keep you guys some ideas of you know what we offer. You can always go to YouTube and uh, look for more videos of our marching band, our athletic department, our music department. Um, to check out some highlights and then see how impressive they are. We have some great talent here at Bethune Cookman, and we would love to have you to join the family uh, to become a Wildcat. So again, I thank you all for taking the time to spend some time with me here. My name is Billy the Just. I'm going to leave you with my name and contact number in this chat box here. 
along with my email. So if you guys have any questions, you'll know how to reach me, how to follow up with me. If you've applied through our website, let me know. If you applied through another site, let me know that so I can pull that application to make sure I can serve you in the best possible way. So again, www.cookman.edu is our main page. So you make sure you check that out um, when you guys get some free time. We are here to serve you guys in every way that we can. So our goal is to provide the best possible service and uh, and continuing the spirit and legacy of Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune. And uh, we wanna make sure we honor her and everything that we do to make sure you guys are on the track for success. All right, so I'm gonna just post a few link in here for you. I have the admissions one, that's the primary one. And I'm gonna provide you with the financial aid link as well in this chat section. So all you guys have to do is just click that link. It'll take you directly to that page. I'm also gonna include the list of academic programs for you. So if mom and dad says, hey, I wanna know more information about this program. Say, mom, don't worry, dad, don't worry. Just click this link. That guy from Bethune Cookman provided it. And mom and dad can have my information if they'd like to reach out. In fact, I've done several uh, virtual Zoom parent, Zoom meetings with, with students and parents. So if that's something you would like to do, just let me know. It would be my pleasure to set up a time where we can have a Zoom conference call, a uh, virtual call with you and your parents so we can answer any questions or uh, concerns they might have and I can provide them with some clarity um, as to how to proceed. All right, this is the academic scholarship link here for you as well. Um, so I'm here to assist. I'm happy to have done this. Thank you again, Infinite Scholars, for providing this platform to allow us to serve these students throughout the country. We look forward to following up with you. We look forward to seeing you. And uh, we do not, we're not seeing students face to face right now for our campus tours. However, look towards the holiday season. We are working on putting together a new up to date virtual campus tour. So check out the website, continue to check it out for new updates. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram. Stay in the loop with what's happening at Bethune-Cookman to figure out our plans for the spring as well as fall 2021 next year. All right, so thank you all for your time. Thank you for continuing to stay safe, continue to succeed, finish off the senior year on a great note. You don't want to get those the senioritis feeling. I know it's tougher than ever now with these virtual classes. So do your best, finish strong, and we can't wait to see you here at Wildcat Country. So thank you again, and hail Wildcats. Billy, thank you so much for providing us all of that information about Bethune-Cookman. Um, the videos are fantastic and engaging. You know, as you said, I just got a couple of follow-up questions that students might have to answer. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things is that you talked about um, students from all over the world. So that tuition rate that you were talking about, is there a separate rate for out-of-state students or is it the same thing for in-state or out-of-state? How does that work? Great question. Thankfully for us, Bethune-Cookman is a private institution, so we do not have any out-of-state tuition. So whether you're in Florida, New York, California, D.C., Charlotte, wherever you're coming from, China, Japan, Brazil, everyone pays the exact same fee. All right. So we're all equal. One fee, no additional fee because you're from a different state. So everyone pays the exact same fee. So great question. That's something we do get quite of. We get these questions quite often. So we do not have any out-of-state tuition. Okay. Um, uh, uh, just a couple more questions. Um, you talked about the business program, which is always, like I've said before, is like one of my favorite programs there. So we know that um, graduating and having work experience sometimes can be difficult in employment. So does Bethune-Cookman have an internship program or mentoring program? As a matter of fact, uh, beginning the second semester of your junior year, if you're an on-campus student, that is normally you have those options available to you. Um, it's just a matter of where you want to take it. What are you interested in? Because we have business marketing, advertising, uh, uh, hospitality management. There's so many layers under the business umbrella. It's just a matter of what you're looking for. And those advisors and professors make that connection to make sure you are getting those internship opportunities, especially right down the street. We have Disney World as one of our partners. So, for example, if you're part of the hospitality or culinary program, we partner with Disney World. So you're able to enter at Disney as a chef as a hotel manager, as a cook, if you want to be, um, entertainer. 
So that's a good way to kind of tap right into the resources we have right in our backyard. Disney's only 40 miles away from our campus. So, and also if you're a student here, by the way, if you have families coming in for vacation, if you are a student, you do get a discount for your families who are coming to visit you to go to Disney. As you guys know, these Disney ticket prices are pretty high. So it's a good way to kind of save for you and your family once they do come into town where you all can enjoy a day at Disney World and, uh, you know, without having to spend as much as everyone else on there. So, yes, they do offer internship opportunities to all uh, majors. Once you're in touch with that advisor, they open those doors for you. And also, if you're a business major, since you mentioned it, business majors have to dress up twice a week. That business attire we talked about, everyone does it on Wednesday. Business, usually Wednesday and Thursdays. Um, you have to do that and sometimes Fridays as well if we have professional seminars because we invite companies on our campus to come see our students, come check out our talent, and uh, you they expect to get the best of what BCU has to offer. So that's why we share our best selves with our best attire, what color suit should I wear to an interview. So these are things that we teach our students uh, early in the process, you know, make sure you sharpen those resumes, make sure you get them up to date. So if you meet someone that comes on campus and they say, hey, Billy, what do you do? Do you have a copy of your resume? You don't want to be that kid that's like, well, I don't have it right now. No, we prep our students to always keep that ready. You have it handy in your briefcase, in your book bag. So if someone asks, you can just hand it over. We want to be prepared to take advantage of every opportunity because sometimes they don't come around again. So you don't want to miss that boat. Once you get the opportunity, I've seen students get scholarships on the spot, internships, you know, get into graduate school for job offers just walk into class, just as happened to meet someone, that interviewer was impressed and they offered them the position. So again, be prepared at all time. You never know when that opportunity is gonna come knocking. Okay, great. Um, um, I had a another question. One of the questions was um, talking about admissions. Now I noticed during the presentation, you were talking about um, some deadline dates of December 1st. If a student is like looking at this presentation, it happens to be after December, are they out of luck for scholarships or is that going to be extended, you know, considering the circumstances? Very, very good point. Very that. good point. That's a very good question. Very good point. Yeah, although we use December 1st as a priority deadline, because that is the priority deadline for most schools around the country. What that means is that um, to be part of the early process, that is the recommended date you wanna be admitted by. However, we have rolling admissions. So we work with students all the way through May and June. So again, not a problem. It's just that the, the scholarship amounts may differ. All right, what's available in the fall, of course, that as we award students, we may not have as much uh, scholarships to offer you in April and May. So we'll do our best to accommodate you, but keep in mind with scholarships, it's first come, first serve. Okay. So you can be admitted all year long, throughout the year from, from October all the way through July. However, if you are looking for academic scholarship or any kind of scholarship, athletics, music, you don't wanna wait last minute because once you wait last minute, you get whatever is left over at that point. So again, uh, this year's a little different. We are working past those deadlines. We're not putting as much emphasis on that December 1st, given that some students may not be able to take that SAT or the ACT. So we're willing to work with students who are submitting their tests January, February, March, April, and they can still be considered for whatever opportunities we might have as well for you. But that's a great point, great point. Okay, perfect. Um, we're talking about admissions, and so I always want students to um, know that um, everybody just applies doesn't necessarily automatically get accepted. So can you tell me what your admissions rate is and your freshman retention rate? For acceptance, we're right around, we get about, that's us say, eight to 10,000 applications per year. Our class of enrollment is always, a goal is about 1,000 or so. Um, for, for retention rate from freshman to sophomore year is about 75 to 78% right now. So as we know, many students will apply, but again, we want them to have options. You know, as I speak with every senior, the goal is to be admitted between three, into three and five schools, three to five schools by the holidays. You wanna get accepted into three to five schools before Christmas break. And then I recommend that you take that time when you're at home during the holidays to sit at home with mom and dad, with your family and weigh out those options. You know, Check out your award letter. How much money are we gonna receive? Do they have my program? Do I wanna live in that city or state? And one of the new challenges now that students are having the way in parents, how's COVID affecting that city or state? Because that's also playing a role 
into where students are choosing to consider. Because right now, if a state is, is, is the, the numbers are continuing to climb, that may, you know, scare a few students or parents to, to enroll their babies into that particular institution. So these are a lot of factors, a lot of moving parts right now. So you want to do your homework early when you guys can sit at home over the holidays and make the best sound decision for yourself with affordability, location, program, success, and so on and so forth. Do you prefer large institutions or do you prefer a smaller school like ours? Uh, you know, because some courses you may have 100 and 200, 200 students in there if you're at a large institution. We're here right now due to COVID, no more than 15 to 17 are allowed in one class. So we're able to social distance every student and they have to wear their mask to go to class. So we're able to have a successful fall semester so far Although we've had a couple of test students who tested positive, we set aside a dorm that is a quarantine dorm for those who happen to get affected. So they're able to quarantine into that dorm for those 14 days, get those two negative tests before they go back into the general public. So we've had that plan in place all summer. I'm happy to see it executed. Um, students have to get a temperature test daily before they go to class, just to make sure you're not just safe coming in, but you're staying safe throughout the year as all of us are having to do, even my office here and our staff, when we come in, we all get that temperature test to make sure we're all at least at that level where we need to be. So in case there's a concern and we're able to catch it immediately, contact our health office here on campus and provide that service to the student, to the faculty or the staff uh, that is here on campus. Okay, good. Billy, I think that you've answered the majority of my questions and you've given us a robust amount of information. So I'm going to let you have the final word, making sure that you give the students again your contact information, the email. I know that you have it in the chat, but for those who are listening, if you could provide that information one more time before we close. Absolutely. Again, my name is Billy the Just, and on behalf of the entire Bethune Cookman University Wildcat family, I would like to thank you guys for taking this time to listen to this presentation. I hope I was able to provide some information that can uh, that will allow you to follow up and get more information about our institution if you'd like to apply. Uh, my phone number is 386-481-2606 is my office number. You can also reach me via cell phone at 386-681-8438. Again, that's 386-481-2606. 2606 is my office number. Cell is 386-681-8438. My email is my last name, The Just, D for David, A for Apple, J for Justice, U for Umbrella, S for Sam, T for Thomas, E for Edward, and then you'll add a B for Billy at the end, the just B at cookman.edu. All right. So again, feel free to reach out, guys. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. We would love to have you and provide you with some more information about our wonderful institution. And we can't wait for you to be part of the Wildcat family. So thank you for taking this time. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Continue to stay safe. Say hello to your families and friends and hell Wildcats again. Okay. Thanks, Billy. Thanks for also being a part of the Infinite Scholars family. Uh, we appreciate everything that you're doing and um, look forward to seeing you physically on campus again next year. Absolutely. Thank you guys for again for your continued support. Uh, we love Infinite Scholars and uh, if I could be of any assistance moving forward, uh, it would be an honor to do so.